Hello folks, today I'm playing Beacon Pines. It's a cute, cosy, mystery adventure game that's been developed by Hiding Spot and published by Fellow Traveller. The game is out on full release now, so I just have to play it. Drop me a comment to let me know if you've played the game, let me know what you think to it. And while you're in that area, can I be cheeky and ask you to hit the like button and sub to the channel as well. Let's jump in and have some fun. Hear the wind, the wind is howling. Dear reader, Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. That's right, because we can make choices in this book that affects the outcome and then we can go back and change those choices and get different outcomes. I like that. I like games that do that. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one, normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. I he remember this like bit. Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Yes, nearly made me cry. I was not expecting it. Have your tissues ready, people. So colorful. I love it. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mum always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. I finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Catch up, Rolo. Observe the room, Rolo. Oh yeah, right? You and your mum always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mum's gone. She's not gone. She's just... Missing. Where is the mother? Where is the mother? Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Rolo just looks permanently happy. <laughs> Rolo, you were upsetting your friend. You'd think his face would look a little sad. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. So colourful. Oh, I've got to do it. Stare at the screen thinking what's going on. Chase me, Rolo. It's so cute. Look at that sneeze. Lucas sneezed and crashed the game. That is some almighty sneezing. <laughs> it better have saved it. I don't want to go through all that again. <laughs> yeah, bless you, Luca. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze, Luca. Don't sneeze. Hey! We didn't crash that time. We got a tickle. A charmed life. Wonderful. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Oh. A charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. I will. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Mysterious. Oh, he wiped his nose. You got a tissue. You got to sneeze again. Don't keep sneezing. You might break the game. Do we have another charm? I got a tickle now too. I've got a sympathetic sneeze. Right, let's get out of here. So cute with the sneezing. I love it. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. 
I'm going to just let it go, the incorrect spelling and grammar, because I do remember when I played the demo, I had a proper little rant over it. I'm just going to let it go. The word is you, not yeah. I'm going to just leave it. Leave it, Mark. Move on. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Lolo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They? Who? Shh. Not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right. I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. It's all the same to you. I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Tell Graham before heading out with Rolo. Let's go tell Graham. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. It's okay. I like how this lady sounds. I like her voice. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? I do. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Let's go charm hunting. Oh, we're pondering. I remember that from the demo. I love the way they slide. Oh, look, get on. Nice, chill. And then we just slide off. I love that a lot. Scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. About some junk. Oh my, this is quite exciting. Is it? I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. We are, we are the one and only. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. I do. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Ooh. Into what? The garden? Around here. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. <laughs> Stating the obvious. It's Gran. Let's go say hi to Gran. Hey, Gran. I'm going to go. For Pete's sake. Go change out of your pyjamas before you say another word. Oh, we've been walking around town in our PJs. But, but nothing. Inside clothes are for inside. And outside clothes are for outside. He stared at his feet and muttered under his breath. Mum always let me wear my pyjamas in the garden. Well, Eleanor isn't here, is she? Now go upstairs, change, and then we'll talk. Right, let's go put the pyjamas on. Love it. Look how Luca moves. <gasps> I love it. Boing, 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 boing. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh, poor Luca. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief. I like she that. Said. That's true, they do. Hide! Another charm! Fabulous! Right, so this is Luca's messy bedroom. Luca tossed on his favourite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Got all these charms we're picking up. Fabulous! Gran's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Why, if she'd commandeered the closet, surely there's room for your stuff. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. You can't get out of the chair. <gasps> Did that just open up? Look! Look at that! We've got a ghost in Luca's room. We close the trunk. We try and get on the chair. It's not going to do it now. 
Yay! There we go. That's quite cool. We'll close it. Right, we've changed. Technically, what we've done is put a jumper on. We haven't changed out of our pyjamas, but it'll keep Gran happy. Okay, I'm going to hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, no, we're special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. We are just going to go... Ponder for the day, hide for the day, chill for the day. We're gonna ponder. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. In the bushes. I'm gonna go find a bush, sit in it and ponder. Oh really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? Meaning of life. This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Do it, Luca. Um, you know. Big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Yeah, great job there, Luca. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Impressive. <laughs> Hope with the you stick. managed to navigate your first turning point without Thank too you. much of a mess. Thank you, dear narrator. That is the power of charms. Ah. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. So we're going to change Ponder to Chill. We were just going to go chill for the day. But best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you are done chilling in time for Easy. supper. So our next task is to get into trouble with Rolo. Here he is. Oh, what's the matter with him? Did he the toilet? Come on, come on. Woo! Dang it, Rolo. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Keep walking backwards. Nothing to see here. This is where I'm ending today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit like while you're here, pop me a comment down below and sub if you've yet to do so. Check out my other videos. There will be something there that you enjoy. Until next time, ciao for now.